Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and today uh, I'm working on a carburetor for this uh, Teo Teo 2017 scooter. The carburetors that come with these things are all sealed up, so I'm going to see if I can't uh, unseal it so I can work on it and change the main jet size and make adjustments for uh, the high um, RPM adjustment screw. Here's a look at the carb, and this is what I'm talking about. They have uh, well, first of all, take the bowl off. There's no screws. So, uh, these three screws here, um, they, they took the heads off of them. This side, uh, there's no head either. And this silver plug, this brass plug, I think there's an adjustment screw behind that. So, that's basically what we're going to be working on here. Okay guys, I clamped it up in my vise and first step here is to get a good punch and we want to get it marked right in the middle here. Okay, I think we got it. Now I'm going to use a very small bit and try and drill right through that. You just want to go slow and have patience. Not too bad, I have a hole there. And now I'm just gonna widen it with a slightly bigger bit. I'm hoping that's enough bite. I'm gonna try and use my easy out now. I don't know if that bit's quite big enough. but we'll see if we can grab this. There it goes. Try and get you guys in focus. There we go. So, I don't know why they cut the heads off these screws or make them tamper proof, but we got that one out. We're going to go ahead and take out all three of these. Okay, guys, so I've loosened up the bowl. I'm just kind of keeping this on here to stop dust. And right here is our high speed adjustment that you can't adjust. So uh, I'm going to use uh, some left-handed drill bits. We'll try and drill this thing out. I know that there's going to be an adjustment screw under there, so I just want to be careful I don't go too deep. Um, I'm thinking this should be easier to get out than the other ones because this looks like just a, a brass plug. Where the other ones were some sort of metal that wasn't soft. So I'm going to try my uh, left handed drill bit and we'll see if I can get this thing to drill and spin. There we go. 
Looks like it's loose. There we go. I drilled a little bit off center there, but luckily I got it. And take a look at that adjustment screw. Just trying to get in here on the screw and I'm on it and I can turn it. That's exactly what we want. Okay guys, so uh, I went through my stash and as you guys probably know from some of my videos, I work on uh, flat screen TVs from time to time. And I keep all those little nuts and bolts, machine screws that, uh, you know, if I have a TV that's no good, I keep all that stuff. And what I found is they're great for these carburetors. Um, most carburetors are made in China and Japan. And I just went through the stash and I found three nice Phillips head screws that fit perfectly. They have washers and uh, lock washers on there. So they're a real good fit for this carburetor. So a little tip for you is to keep that stuff because you will use it. The next step here with this carburetor is to take the bowl off this thing and get inside and see if we can replace the main jet. Because what I'm trying to do with this scooter is I want to get more air into the carburetor and I also want to get more fuel so it's not running lean. The carburetors are leaned out from the factory so what we want to do is try and get more fuel and we can do that by uh, increasing the jet size inside. So let's take a look at that. I've removed the uh, float bolt and this is our idle jet and this is our main jet and I'm going to see if I can back that out and they usually have numbers written on the top of them Um, I think that one's a 75 if I'm reading the number right on there. So I'm going to see if I have one of these that might fit in this carburetor. Well, I took a close look at it. That stock jet was a 75, and I have some other jets here. These are Galaxial, and uh, that's the brand name of them they're sold on Amazon and I'm just trying to put in a 80 I want to make sure it uh, it is a exact fit oh yeah so that'll go in there nicely perfect the idle jets are going to be much smaller. I don't think I have any of those. But that's how you'd modify this uh, closed off carburetor. Alright guys, so that's all it really takes to modify the stock carburetor if you want to. I went up to a, a 20 millimeter bore carburetor just to get in a little bit more air than the factory one. And I also added the big bore kit, and I'm still in the process of tuning the scooter. I'm seeing really good results with the big bore kit. I had out the scooter today. It was raining, but I got up to 38 miles an hour, and before I was at about 31, 32. And uh, I let off it just because um, I'm still breaking in the big bore. I haven't had much time really to ride it. And I'm also playing around with the variator rollers different combinations of weights and I'm able to increase my speed and pick up with that. So you can stay tuned to uh, the Teo Teo video series. I'll put some links down in the description if you're interested in any of the parts such as the jets or the carburetor that I used in today's video. Thanks for watching guys and if you're not a subscriber please think about subscribing and if you want to continue to get my videos hit the little uh, notification bell. I guess that'll tell you for sure whenever I have a video up. Thanks for watching, guys.